Off was in front of the mass it just had released and they looked like clouds but it was full of orbs and that was evident so uh, these things are in our sky and you saw a few of them shoot by there in the beginning yeah, because they weren't aware I was filming and then as soon as they figure it out they stop but uh, they're right over our heads a whole millions of them, billions, I don't know how many there are, there's a lot of them. The whole thing is them that you're looking at right now. It's all them. That's one large mass of them. Because uh, the moon's gone. That, that's not the moon. The moon is gone and they're pretending to be the moon. But I think they took care of our moon two years ago and now it's gone. And uh, this can never be the moon because it uh, doesn't even follow a, its own pattern. It moves forward and back and everything. That's another thing you saw, the moon moving back and forth and also uh, moving backwards, actually, to the left. So I'm not going to film too much longer now that the mosquitoes have eaten me alive. And I can't believe there's mosquitoes that many of them on the 18th floor. Uh, that never used to be the case. There's more bugs of all sorts these days because they're all breeding and they're all eating our trees and uh, it's a real hazard. Let's see if I can catch any of them fly by just by accident. They know I'm filming them, but they don't know exactly what part of it I'm filming. Even their technology is not that good. I'd have to stay on one thing for 10 minutes for them to figure out what part of it I'm filming. So that's how I can catch them flying by because they don't know exactly where not to fly. You can see those at the edge there on the left top corner. Uh, those are clusters that are going to be taking off. They line them up at the edges. Those black ones right there in the middle they were never there before. And look, uh, there's white ones in the middle of them. And a real big white one there. That has uh, millions of these things in it. Because uh, that's a big one. That's probably another one that pretends it's the moon. Because it comes down lower. And it looks even bigger and it comes low, down lower so then it looks like the size I'm not shooting in high definition, I forgot to put it back in high definition this is 480 only but it'll come out it's a good camera It'll, it'll make sure it comes out. I want to get those right there on the edge, if I could. Yeah, right there. Look at that big black cluster right there on the top right, right at the edge. It's even hanging off the edge. You can see that it's not lined up. Uh, so that's that's just landed there. Those are not any mountains or any canyons. That's just color. Difference in color to give it the appearance, but that's no 
landforms of any sort. There is no land there at all. It's a biomass of organisms that are really smart and uh, do interstellar travel just like that, interdimensional as well. They do all kinds of travel. They can go anywhere. So I'm at 46 minutes already. I didn't realize it was that long. But I'm glad I got the clouds and everything right in the back of it. And those clouds were a biomass, just like this hologram. They were not real clouds, because most of the clouds around now are just these things. I'd love to see one of those take off right there, the black ones just pop up and take off because they do it real quick you have to really watch them and they do it so fast that it's hard to see them sometimes take off but that whole thing is just one huge biomass Stick tonight, even though there's not a cloud in the sky, just about it's all those things. Okay, I have no zoom on. Okay, watch that thing change in intensity. Just watch what it does. That's what I wanted to show. How it changes intensity. And that is not flare. That's that thing actually powering up and changing size. Because uh, first it doesn't want to be seen. And second, it is powering up. trying to get to a point where I can see, but I can't see those organisms that easy. You can barely see them. The sky is full of them, and they're just flying around. All those little specks moving around, it's all them. Those are the ones that were a cloud before, and now that cloud has dispersed, and now they're gonna be flying around all over and landing on things down here. So that's 400x, let's see, no, that was 200x, okay. Ah, there was another one I just zoomed by, I was in too close and missed it, but it went right over the top, I mean over the top of the frame, just under the top of the frame, you could just swipe, maybe we'll see another one. I'm at 50 minutes. I won't go past 60. Okay, it's resumed its northwest course to pretend again that it's the, uh, oh, watch, it's going back. Okay, I spoke too soon. It has resumed its northwest cor uh, course now. It's not sure which way it's going to go. It's moving back and forth. I'm not touching the camera. 
Okay, so that is definitely not the moon. Uh, that would be impossible for the moon to do, go backwards or jerk around like that in its orbit. Now you can really see how it's going. I'm not touching the camera and there's no wind to move it around. That's that thing moving in different directions. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, I mean, whoever thinks this is the moon, you need to get a life. Like, does the moon move like that? God. This will never be the moon. I'll, uh, I'll show you in a smaller frame. Let's see. Maybe I'm too, too far. I'm um, moving a little bit. Let's watch. No, notice how it's not no longer red around. Changes from green to red. Look, look how it's going in jerks. Look at that. That's what I wanted to show. Those are big movements for a big thing like that. It's hovering. It's not moving in its orbit because it's not the moon. Uh, it only pretends to move in its orbit, but it's hovering because it's uh, most likely just checking me out. I can't see any other reason why it would stay in place or go backwards. So, this is final proof that this is not the moon, and our moon is really gone. Uh, it's just not around anymore, and this thing will never take its place, no matter how nice they make it look, and even if it follows a, an orbital pattern of the moon, it can't be the moon, because it's a biomass and nothing else. It's all these organisms in a cluster. And that's what that moon hologram is. It's a big cluster of these organisms. And it's just let some out. First in a form of a cloud, and then they dispersed and are uh, now flying all over and landing on everything to eat more trees and everything else. And they're uh, taking care of all the insects and birds too, and all the little animals that they can get and kill, because they're just cleaning up the whole place of, of life and uh, just wasting everything by eating it up and they're going to destroy our food chain if, if we let them keep that up because uh, we need all the insects that are good insects that were uh, originated here on earth and uh, not like these insects because th that's what these are these orbs and everything they're insects and they're from space they're invading us from space and they're insects, and uh, they're much more hardy than ours, and much smarter. So they're eating up everything in sight on our planet. The trees, the insects, the birds, even the fish in the water. They're just wiping everything out. And uh, gonna leave us a bare planet with no food. And we don't have another place to go like them. We can't get in a spaceship and fly away. This is our home and the only home. And if we let them do what they're doing, we're going to be in serious trouble. There'll be no food left on this planet for anyone. Not touching the camera.
I'm waiting to see which way it's gonna go. Obviously it's hovering in place right now because it should have moved off the frame already. Oh, look, it's even going back. And I put it back on the other side and watch it one more time before my 60 minutes runs out. So this is going to be Super Mash Mouse's 60 minutes, just like that TV show. The 60 minutes. Uh, this is my 60 minutes of the fake moon, fake clouds, and alien organisms all over the place, eating up our food chain and leaving us with nothing if we let them go on. You can see the orbs forming and reforming inside of it, inside the hologram itself. I hope all this comes out in 480. I should have used high definition. I'm going to have to change that as soon as I go in. I don't want to mess with it now. But I should have had it in high definition to show all of this crystal clear. Okay, I'm at 58 minutes, two more minutes. Maybe another one of them will fly by. I'll go in closer and I'll leave it like right here. We'll watch these clusters here in the middle. And watch the whole thing move back and forth. I'm not touching the camera now. So whatever movements it makes, that's it making it. Look at the size of that white orb. That's, that's a huge cluster. Look at the movement. It's unbelievable. Uh, it reminds me of someone holding a reflector onto something, projecting the image through a reflector and trying to hold it in the sky uh, in, in one place. Uh, and then just jerking it around because it's not possible. And that's what they're, they remind me of when they jerk it around like that. So you can see that that's not a natural movement for any, any heavenly uh, body. And uh, our moon uh, never used to move like that because I've taken enough videos of it to know it never used to move like that. So uh, all that jerking around is not natural and it's not our moon. Okay, I'm at one hour. I'm going to turn it off. Thanks for watching.